Larry Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Lynch of McGuanago, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Suzuki, Wings Over Wisconsin, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Commit Law Firm, Kamalon Measuring Tools, Deep Freeze, Cold Snap, Otter, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. tell people, Brett, what we're doing out here in this crazy weather, besides uh, trying to get <laughs> salt Besides here. trying to get salt. Right. This is the first ever, tell us, first, first ever, ever David A. Anderson Memorial Tournament for, right. for Warrior we, owners. Yep. We got a total of how many boats? 39 boats. 39 boats. Great deal. Warrior put up some great prizes last night. I didn't even know they were doing that. Boy, this looks like an yeah, awesome fish. And great. I'll tell you something, Brett, we've, we've gone through a lot of boats and very few fish so far. Now these guys really got, that's a dandy of a fish. We've been battling this Yeah, this is gonna probably. be, this is gonna be definitely a nice fish. He's definitely taking his time with it. Looks like we're getting close. There he goes. Oh, nice nice fish. fish. Very nice. Look at the size of that walleye. Holy cats. That looks like a Lake Erie walleye, Brett. Yes, it does. <laughs> well, that made the 30 mile run work. Yes, it did. Nice job, boys. Woo. Nice. Fit. Very nice. Now, what they're going to do again, Brett, they're going to go through and they're going to process this fish. Can you kind of tell us a little bit more again about yep. how this how this whole process works? So they're using the AIM format here, okay. which is catch, record, release. and. Uh, so what it is, is you bring the fish in, yep. right? And we provide everybody with a ruler, an SD card for the camera, all that stuff. So it's, it's a very quick, simple process. The fish comes in, goes on a ruler, head in the left hand, okay. tail in the right hand, belly to belly with the guy holding the fish. Yep. So the other guy in the boat is now taking the picture of that fish on the ruler. Let's okay. take a look at him right now. He's so right got now, a camera. Got the, they got the camera out. They've got the fish on the ruler. Yep. So they're gonna get a good photo. Yep. They're gonna agree on a measurement. Okay. And sometimes it takes a little bit. Obviously the fish is alive. Now he's holding it up for what we call a hero shot. A hero shot. So huh? this is the other side of the fish now. Okay. So the we opposite have side opposite that you were measuring. Okay. So we have both both sides of the fish on film because every fish has a fingerprint, right? Just yep. like a human being. So if there's ever any discrepancies, and now look, the fish is going back just that fast. That, look how fast that fish took Swimming off. Away for oh, God. Wow, that is absolutely awesome. You know, and now they're going to score that on the official scorecard. They'll write that down. Yep. And it's it's a length to weight conversion, and okay. it's the same everywhere we go. So that fish right there, I'm guessing, was 25 and a half. Um, probably going to get about six and change for pounds out of that fish. Not too shabby. And it's the same everywhere we go. So right. it, it's even Steven. You're either playing with ounces or inches, right. one or the other. So well and I think, you know, especially when you're talking conditions like we're in that are so rough and you know we we're out thirty miles from where we launch from and you look at this, if you put them fish in the live well even with the live wells that we have nowadays in these boats, you know, them, a lot of them fish, especially with the water temperatures being at the warmest part yep. of the season here, they're probably not going to make it. No, that long ride in, they're going to get bounced around. Even if they're in good shape by the time they leave, 
they're not going to make it in. They yeah. would not be releasable once you got them in there. And you know, you brought this up before, Brett. You know, yesterday you and I came out. We did a little pre-fishing because uh, we came up a day early, and we caught some nice fish eating yep. fish. You know, which we're going to eat tonight. Right, we are. And I'm talking like 14 to 18 inches that we kept to put in the live well. Boy, I'll tell you, and it was not that rough yesterday. By the time we got back in there. Boy, them, I don't think any of them fish would have been releasable. No, none of those fish would have swam away, that's for sure. You know, so they this, were, this is definitely the way to go. It is, I agree 100%. Hey, that's awesome. We ran all the way out here. Now we've got a couple of fish on film. Let's keep hunt, hunting and see what we can do. The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, warrior boats are built to last. Warrior boats, a legend reborn. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. Hey folks, the Badger Sportsman Magazine wants to see a picture of you having fun in the outdoors. And to have a chance to win a trip with us here on Larry Smith Outdoors and a hardened softwater fishing kit, all you have to do is submit that picture to the badgersportsman.com. guys doing here they don't have any downriggers on their boat at all so you know tell me what the process is how are they getting them baits down in the water column where do they need to go my guess is is they're using what we call the bomb system okay so the bomb system is basically a six to eight ounce weight okay you generally put on a red offshore planer board clip okay like a snap weight like huh? a snap weight okay so you wheel you know put out 30 40 50 feet whatever your set ends up being clip that weight on drop it to the bottom and you'll you'll figure out what line or what depth you want to be by the line you have out. Okay. And then you just keep it. They're using line counters. So pretty much whatever method it is, you know, if it's a, a downrigger system like yep. you have on your boat here and a lot of the other guys did, or lead core, or using like you're talking the bomb system or a snap weight system. Yep. Any way to achieve where you want to get that bait, we're, you know, we're in 40 feet of water, let's say right now 33 to 40 feet. Any, any way just to get that bait in the part of the water column you want it to ride in. Right. Okay. So you can do it with lead core also, which I believe is what we saw Adam and Bomber doing. Yep. But using the bomb or downriggers, you can stay a lot closer to the boat, you get a lot less feet out. That's what you were right? saying yesterday, yep. Yeah, and then totally understanding, you know, we were running three lines yesterday because yep. we had three people in the boat here. And uh, you ran the two downriggers and then we ran a lead core and on the lead core you know i was running over 150 feet of line out there to try to get that bait close to yep. the bottom there and uh you know with the downrigger obviously you know you had a really short lead on there we were running it down 25 foot and then 50 foot back with the bait yep. so and you're getting achieving the, the same concept of getting that bait in the right part of the water column and i actually myself i prefer the downriggers especially when i'm working this small structure out yep. here because I can spin immediately. And you don't right? have to worry about that, all that line getting tangled yep. up too. These guys have been doing a pretty good job filling their car, and it looks like now they're working on an upgrade. This is Adam Anderson, his partner bomber. You know, of course, Adam is, is Dave's son. So right. We all know he's fishing for special reasons. Yes, he is. The guy looks like they got a real good one on right now. And what what are they doing, Brad? Are they trolling they're lead core? Out 
Boy, that rod's pulled right over. It looks like it could be a really nice fish. Boy, it sure is interesting, Brett. And it seems like uh, the later it gets, that these fish seem to be biting a little bit better. Well, the last couple of fish we saw were some pretty nice sized walleyes. Yeah, the other day, Larry, on the dealer's tournament, I caught all my fish from 10.30 in the morning to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Holy cats. So it was a quick window. Well, there's oh, that's a, nice a nice fish. fish. Yep. Woo! Nice. Nice job. Gotta nice, love nice. that. Larry. You gotta feel like destiny's taking oh, over here, oh, right? There's no doubt. I mean, Adam Anderson is an incredible fisherman. Yes. Anyways, yes. but you know he's fishing with motive today. No doubt. I'll tell you that's a that's this is a very special day for Kent and Adam, and uh, boy, to see Adam and his partner just put that giant walleye in the in the in the boat is just absolutely awesome. Well, I think the smallest one they had on their card was three. How that big? Was three. Wow. What do you think? What do you think about that fish? That Brett? fish is going to go probably pushing six pounds. Okay. No, nope, not quite as big as I thought. That's pretty good. Cooler. That's right. pretty good though. The way everybody else is struggling, yep. they don't even net that. Fish, you know. <laughs> and on this format, you could score them down to 12 inches. Holy oh, cats! Yeah. And you know, they're, they're flipping 17 inch fish in like they don't even need them. We haven't seen that in any other boat yet today, I'll tell you that much. Not saying it's not happening, uh, just because everybody's so dispersed right now too. Right. But uh, this is definitely the hottest boat we've come up on. Well, Lake of the Woods today, fishing the uh, Dave Anderson Memorial Tournament. Um, Warriors only tournament. We're out here, out on the uh, reefs, about 17, 18 miles out from the Gap. We're doing all right so far today. We have uh, four, what I would call consider good fish. We have, uh, we do have our five, but uh, one we just soon get rid of. But we're pulling lead core, just kind of out off the reefs in a little bit deeper water. Um, I'm not real sure how everybody else is doing today, but uh, fishing slower. But the fish we've been getting are, are decent fish. So uh, we need one more. Hopefully it'll come pretty soon. Uh, five good fish you know hopefully we can uh, upgrade a few more but uh, right now our smallest one of our five is 24 and a half our biggest now is 27 and a quarter that was the one we just caught right there uh, hopefully we can upgrade if we can't you know what we uh, we're happy we came out we were hoping to get uh, average you know five fish over 25 I'd say we've got to be right about there if not just not tire for weight I'm gonna call it a good day, no matter what happens the rest of the day. That guy right there, however, a very nice walleye, I would say 18 inches. A little bit ago we'd have been happy to have him, but right now we got our five that are significantly bigger than that, so this guy is going right back in with no photo. Kalins has been catching multi-species fish for over 30 years. From our crappy grubs, to our seismic series of hybrid swim baits and grubs, to our jerk minnows. You can't see that jerk minnow, can you? Oh, to our garlic and salt impregnated wacko worm. Oh, that's a Kalen's wacko. Our premium line of Kalen jig heads. Oh, and our original Kalen's grub still does a pretty good job too. Fish, look at that Kalen's in her mouth right there. Wings over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration 
preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. Patrick, what are you doing out here? Mark, I'm going fishing this weekend, but with this massive selection of trucks, I can't figure out which one to take. The brand new Lynch McGuanago stores have a massive selection of brand new Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram trucks, cars, vans, and SUVs. Make your next stop at the all new state of the art Lynch McGuanago dealerships today. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. Boy, you said you're gonna get me on a big fish. And I'll tell you. repeat of yesterday, okay, buddy? Yep. Come on, man. Ooh, nice fish. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Boy, I'll tell you, that thing has just got that rod bent right over. And you're just going around with these downriggers yep. and really tight on this structure. There's just no way that you could do that unless you had them downriggers. I know, so I, I know exactly why. Oh, nice fish, Brett. <laughs> Woo! Nice yeah. job, buddy. I'll tell you something. He was explaining to me before <laughs> why why you use a downrigger. And we were just spinning around on this small <laughs> piece of structure here, and there's no way that you could have spun around on this and stayed that tight to that break without using the, the downriggers, for sure. Absolutely Look at that bait. That thing, you got to hold that up, buddy. I'll tell you, that thing absolutely just absolutely throttled that that bait. Nice fish. You know, I'll tell you, I'm gonna definitely be back to Lake of the Woods to fish this. Matter of fact, I'm gonna probably bring my own kids up here. This is an unbelievable resource here. And you know, talk about a place where you can go and not have people right on top of you. You know, we're used to fishing Winnebago, and that's fine, but there's a lot of, lot of people fishing in small areas. Out here, there's so many different pieces of structure of the fish. <laughs> look at that toad. That is absolutely... It's actually a pretty bleached out one. Look how beat up the tail right. is. Right. That's an old fish yeah. right there for sure. That is absolutely awesome, buddy. Hey, I you said you. you did, and you always come true, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Not always. Yeah, well, sure well I don't know. I haven't fished with you yet that we've been filming a show that you haven't uh, come through. I'll tell you that. Nice fish, Brett. What a way to end. That is an absolutely awesome fish. All right, well, let's... Uh, Let's get her back down. Hey, Brett, you know that's one thing about you, you never give up. And I'll tell you, yesterday we were out there and we caught a ton of, of nice walleyes and saugers, but you wanted to get that big fish. And I'll tell you, we took a little break this afternoon and went back out. <laughs> And boy, you, we stuck a big fish, and that was absolutely awesome. I tell you, and it took us a while to get out there. It was pretty, pretty <laughs> wicked. Nice to be back in the confines of the river. It certainly isn't it? is. Oh, but great. you know, this fishery here is just one amazing fishery, and uh, just the amount of structure out there, and just the massive volume of water. Yeah. It's just hard to believe that. You know, we talked about how many islands were out there. What was there almost? 65,000 miles of shoreline, 14,000 islands. Yeah, I mean, that's it's just, an incredible place on Earth. It is. And you know, on this body of water, there's several resorts. So if people want to come up 
and they want to fish on this, they can go through the Chamber of Commerce yep. and look and, and check out all yep. the different resorts that are on Lake of the Woods. And I'll tell you, again, what a great time. We even got your son, Lucas. Lucas, thank you. Yep. Brett, thank Absolutely. you. Hey, and just remember, like I always say, it's a great day to be alive. Hey, you're in the kitchen with Shotgun Chef Steve Schaefer. It's summertime out. I've been hitting the garden. Some guy called up, the wife and I and the kids got to go to a party. So I hit the garden and got cucumbers, onions, tomatoes. I'm going to make a Hellman's dip for the stuff out of my garden. That's off. It's been in the family for, I think I'm the third generation. Now my mom handed it down to me. She got it from her mom. So it's really fast. Within 10 minutes, it's done, ready to go. Go to a party. People love it. Take a cucumber, peel it. Peel all the green stuff. You can leave some green stuff on it. I usually take it all off. That's good enough. Get a nice sharp knife out, chop off the ends. I don't like the ends. Look at those knife skills by the shotgun here, huh? Size, whatever size you want them in. Take them and throw them in the bowl. I already started already with the mayonnaise already to loosen it up. I take and cut my cherry tomatoes out of the garden in half. Put them in there. Yeah, there's about, uh, what was it, six, seven of them right there. Slice a little bit of the onion off, just for flavor. Just adds a little more kick to it. Slap that bad boy in there. Look at the colors on that already. And I haven't even started really getting into it. So now, about a cup for this much Cucumber, I throw about a cup of mayonnaise in there. Use the good stuff, Hellman's is the best. It's got the flavor. Take and put one tablespoon of vinegar, white vinegar to every cup of mayonnaise you put in there. Slap a little bit of uh, black pepper to your taste. A little bit of salt, good to go. Stir it up. And the more this sits, see how creamy this is? That's why I made a little bit of it ahead of time. It really turns to a cream and it just sticks to the vegetables, the cucumbers, tomatoes, and onions. Now look at the colors on that. Put that on the table, people eat it as a side dish. It goes with everything, corn, burgers, hot dogs, brats, fish. It's good to go, folks. Put it on the table and we're ready to eat. This is cucumber salad. What did it take me? Six minutes, five minutes at the most. Right, everything was out of the garden except for the mayonnaise and everything else. Thanks. Kitchen of Shotgun Schaefer. See you next time. Subscribe now to never miss an issue of the Badger Sportsman magazine. This issue features Green Bay Packer Jeff Janis. Along with great celebrity profiles, you'll find everything you need to know to have fun and be successful outdoors in Wisconsin. For availability in your area and subscription information, check out badgersportsman.com today. Ha, 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 ha.
Their fourth fish on the card was 26 and a quarter at 7.41 pounds. Clearly they have this one already. So then we threw the camera guy, Brad, in the boat with them. They proceed to make another pass. And guess what? They anchored their bag with a 27 and a quarter inch. This was absolute destiny. 35.28 pounds, Adam Anderson winning his dad's first annual memorial tournament with Jason. Located on Four Mile Bay, which you can see right here, which is a calm area off of the big lake, and then we can go out and access the lake. For the last resort on the end of the river, or it goes into the lake. So when you're up here, the odds are that you're gonna go fishing. Even if the lake is rough, I saw that today. We went out there, but they have the option of fishing in the river. We're out here in the bay. It can get out. I've got some really good fishing guides. And I got my charter boats here. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is have all my employees make sure that if somebody leaves here, they're smiling. Dave was my best friend. I met him about 40 years ago and we we just met hunting, that was hunting, but when we started fishing, that was the deal that sealed it. I mean, we fished and fished and fished. For me, it was an honor, you know. Knowing Dave was an honor. We knew each other our whole lives. Best man in his wedding, you know, and it's just, it was an honor knowing Dave because it's, he taught everybody. He had many, many friends, not just me, you know, right. you know, but he had many, many friends that, and he touched everybody here at Moore, you know. A lot of kids don't have dads, you know, to inspire them and set them in the right direction. I think you're right there. We got to spend a lot of time with our dad. We spent a lot of time in the boat, a lot of time in the outdoors. Yep. Um, for both of us, I mean, he wasn't only our father, but he was our best friend. Right. Um, so with his passing, it was, it's hard. Um, yep. This whole memorial tournament, it started out as just a, a vision with the four owners and myself to get it going and it's uh, pretty tough come the other day when Brett called me up and he goes hey do you want us to, can we change the name and I'm like yeah yeah I said sure and <laughs> so it's yeah it's tough and I mean he had the passion for warrior passion for the outdoors I mean it's definitely and we just both love the outdoors yeah dad was there for from the time we were little till till the end right well, I can tell you, you know, all three of us, uh, we're very fortunate to have the dads that we had. So I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks, Larry. Thank you. Thank you.